All right, so we're gonna set up the iPad um, for four flight, and as well as setting it up with the VR to basically uh, act as our alternate TSD. Um, the biggest thing use out of this uh, for the context block is being able to see your working areas. Since we don't have a TSD in the VR, we don't have that capability. In order to do that, we're just gonna show you how to bring those in. If you haven't done it already, you'll go to your cloud sync and then you'll start from the training wing four. Let's share with you training wing four and the T6. And then it'll be your four flight KML files. You'll select say the central area, including the Mustangs and open in and then select four flight. That'll take you to the four flight, um, allow you to import it. Once you import it, mine's already imported. That's the reason why I canceled that. Once you import it, you'll be able to come into here, your uh, filters, oops. You'll be able to come into here and your filters. And if you scroll down on the right side, you will see we have the central working area there. We'll select that and then we'll see it populate. I'll go down and I'll select our, uh, let's go ahead and get our Kings 4 MOA in there. Boom. Let's go ahead and get our Mustangs as well. And then in case we want to use them uh, for, I don't know, say uh, aerobatics, we'll do our Foxtrots as well. Now we have all the working areas in there. Um, and so this can really aid us as like a TSD for that function. Now that those working areas are loaded, anything that we see here will also display um, in our cockpit once we set that up. And before we do that, let's just go ahead and the next thing we want to do, obviously this isn't allowed for some of the instrument flights, so you'll want to disable it when it comes to that time. But for now, we want to enable our ownership, which basically allows live, real time in the cockpit, this GPS position to uh, update as we fly and show where our airplane is real time. So I'm gonna go that more, and I'm gonna go to uh, settings and all the way down. And then uh, ownership is gonna be right here, enable ownership. And we wanna select always, right? And once we do that, now that that's enabled, mine was already enabled, obviously yours may not be. Ensure that it's enabled, then we could go to our next steps. 